Hey folks, good evening and wishing you all a Merry Merry Christmas and I hope everybody is enjoying and having a great day all around the world and enjoying your special time of the year, right? So from Bangladesh, from my channel, I'm wishing all my subscribers a Merry Christmas as you can hear a little bit maybe on my background, if you can hear. I have Christmas music, just the music, very soothing, very nice sort of Christmas music playing right behind me. So I dedicate this, today's episode, to all the people who are celebrating Christmas. Bangladesh also is having, I think, the holiday right now. Tomorrow is our holiday and then the people, they're all in holiday mode. People are going to places as well. So I wish everybody's having a great day at church. And then you're going to have later on nice dinner, lunch, I mean lunch and dinner with your family, turkey as well as your beautiful uh, Christmas tree, right? Enjoy your gifts, open your gifts with your family, and then enjoy a few drinks. Drink <laughs> until, you know, as long as it makes you happy. Do whatever makes you happy. So I hope everybody's having a great time, right? And uh, today, uh, the episode, I'm not gonna do much of a review, not gonna do anything serious talk, just a few things from yesterday's meeting, as well as I'll show you the scent of the night tonight. I was wearing this beautiful manly scent. I've shown you this before. This was my scent of the night. Pakora Banpuram. The original, the classic, the powerhouse sort of a fragrance from back in the day. And then very manly green sort of feel with a vanilla dry down. Very sort of uniform scent. Very nice. If you like manly man scent, polo green. If you like a Chanel's Platinum Egoist, sort of forest vibe, bit of a zen uh, state of your mind. I love this fragrance, very manly and signature scent, one of my signature scents, right? So I have my dry down as well. I get the sweet vanilla right on, beautiful, beautiful fragrance, right? So hope everybody's having a great day, right? Mr. Matt, special shout out to you because I've been talking to you in the comment section, right? So let's get into the today's topic. So as you can see from the topic, I'm gonna talk a few things that we discussed in my yesterday's meeting with our fellow fragheads in the, from the group that we made in Facebook. It's called Good Smellers. So I'll give you the channel once again, please uh, do help us grow. You guys can share, especially people of Bangladesh. I made this page for you guys. So you guys can come, join, share. We get to meet some nice people. We already met a few nice people, as I told you. And then we can make this community, beautiful community where you can make new friends. It's very exciting. We share our passion. We can talk about fragrances. We can show the scent of the day. We can show our collection. We can put something for sale or swap. So it's a beautiful thing, you know, it's, it's, it comes from many angles, right? So that's the whole purpose of the page. So I hope everybody help us grow and then give us your knowledge and do share with your ideas, gift ideas. You can give us something like um, where to buy fragrances, what are the legit shops, or if you even want to order someone's going, let's say, for example, foreign country. If you know them in person, you can tell them, brother, can you please bring it for us? Even sister, right? So... Second thing is, don't just make this like a guy's page. I don't want like the page to be just for guys where the guys actually enjoy. Let's make it for everyone. Happy place. And then let's respect each other. Let's not be offensive. Let's not get stepping on someone's toes, right? So let's just keep it nice. So the topic I want to talk about today, it's a bit serious issue. This one, we had the, one of the issues we were discussing yesterday night among four of us, right? As you know, we met four of us yesterday. I posted the video. Sorry about the quality of the video because the restaurant, I apologize first of all, in Bangladesh, it's a very densely populated country, very small country and we have like huge population, like I think it's like now 170 million people in a tiny little country, if you google Bangladesh you'll see it's not a very big country, right? So what happened is, you hardly get a place where you can stand and there is no one around you, there's someone always around you, when you sit in a restaurant, you're gonna be seeing people sitting just next to you, just like... <laughs> this much distance from your place to your next table so even if you whisper people can hear you so it's hard to get find a place where you can hang out where the you know restaurant don't bother us like if we they won't mind that we're sitting there for three four hours discussing talking doing shoots because people tend to do that so that was the only place that i know that i go but it was a bit noisy and the low light so i'm sorry about that just wanted to meet up just want to start it so i promise next time it's gonna get better so for those who got a bit you know shocked like what was this to low life situation i apologize to you guys all right 
The second thing is, someone told me, don't take pictures when the video is going on. I was just too excited. I'm so sorry I didn't see it. I, <laughs> I'll remember it next time. I just got so excited seeing all the bottles, the nice people. You know, for the first time, it's very exciting. You guys who are in fragrance, you would know. Like, back in the days, your fragrance bros, they're meeting in New York. All these legendary Mark, you know, Drag Dog, you know, all these guys, you know, they're just meeting up and then Al, Dan. So the excitement, like, it's like a mafia gathering going on people like see the coat they're in the cooler country and they're like waiting yeah what's the scent of the day bro and you know cool dudes so nothing as fancy but then i want to have this in bangladesh going on you know i know pretty much sure that many of bangladeshi people they have good taste in fragrances they have good collection as well as they want something like this we want a premise where you can start this sort of thing we can you know, just gather, you know, if you gather your power, there's so much good thing that can come up, right? So we can maybe one day have very trusted source of fragrance. We can buy it in a very agreeable prices. We can swap among each other. And if we don't like, say, for example, it's, this is not someone's cup of tea. You just want to give it away to someone and you can get something they don't like. So you can exchange like the movie Holiday. Perfect, right? Xmas, Christmas, holiday movie. If you guys haven't watched it, watch it. The Holiday, beautiful movie. Kate Winslet and I, I'm not sure who was else. Cameron Diaz, not sure. So they swap places and then they find like UK and US, they like different countries when they change, right? So yeah, few things like that. So the issue I want to talk about particularly here, the guys were saying for, you know, our condition, Bangladesh condition, what is it like fragrance scenario here? So it's like exactly polar opposite of your states, Canada, white cooler countries where the weather is very cold. That's why those countries, you know, the reviewers mostly are from there, like Mark, Chad, Steven, you all guys are from that side, Dan, UK, cooler countries. So whatever is popular there, wood, something like very dark, boozy, sort of like leathery, excuse me. Those, those are fragrances that are popular there because those are the ones that perform and give you best outcome and burst on the skin, right? So our condition is exactly opposite. Why? Because right now it's a bit winter and cool we don't sweat that much but after this january february Mar time march will start the heat will start coming up crazy the weather goes up to 38 to 40 i think this was mentioned by brother uh, uh, fahad yeah he was talking about it right so he was saying when it's so hot you don't want to wear something animalic the other brother who brought david up leather uh, leather blend he doesn't like it because it smells like attached to him right his wife doesn't like it why we like more like summer freshes i just give you an example. Just two examples, right? I'll bring you two fragrances. These are, you know, in your countries, these are like CK1 Summer. This is 2015. It smells like a uh, like little bit lemony, a little bit citrusy, a little bit boozy. Just very light scent. People like, oh, this is Summer Fresh. This is nothing. doesn't last. You Fresh. Uh, Versace is Mano Fresh. These are like not that big in foreign countries but in our country these are holy grails these are the stuff we need to wear because this light this is a bit more summery nothing like animalic leather not like uh, your oud that sort of strong so basically the i apologize for saying this my friend today mentioned i say basically like a million times i'm sorry i guess it's just nature habit so sorry about basically i'm sorry about, sorry about saying basically all the time i'll try to correct myself so what I'm trying to get back to the getting back to the discussion for us for the kind of weather we have leather note boozy note wood note doesn't really work with most of the people for us who are real fragrance lovers like we know we don't mind we can manage it still somehow in our AC room air conditioning room we can wear something like this in Bangladesh still but the fact remains 85% of people I think more or less 85% of people who just generally they just use fragrances but not as freaks like us they wouldn't wear something like this their girlfriends wouldn't appreciate something like this on their skin only a minority group of people so basically here you go basically ah, god damn it <laughs> oh no no <laughs> god please <laughs> right so my point is our side of the story we want to wear something that's summary that's summary like fresh yesterday the Fahad Bhai was showing that his cologne that was the one from the Gurlan house it has a beautiful mint note bit of you know Chanel Alorum uh, cologne right that sort of fragrance we need something light airy citrusy something you know like how to say it? this would be more like tropical uh, that has lemon note in it something refreshing rosemary that sort of fragrance we can 
appreciate here. Azores Chrome, I'll just show you a few more. This kind of fragrance, Azores Chrome, John Barbados, Artisan Aqua, or even very simple scents, show you two or three more. Perialis Red, just showing you a few examples. I'm not saying these are the best ones, just giving you the, some ideas. This is Aqua Digio DNA in it, Perialis Red, a little bit pepper. In our kind of, when the sun is up, when there's a bit heat intensity, this one is not overpowering. This one projects beautifully, this one lasts on your skin and your clothes. So for summer countries, we want to wear something like this. We want to wear something like, oh crap, Polo Black, right? Beautiful mango note, something light. This one doesn't work in a cooler country like UK. I put this on five minutes gone, right? Even CK1 Red. We treasure this kind of fragrance. So we need to know, I as a reviewer, because right now I'm the only one from Bangladesh who's doing the review on YouTube. I hope few more reviewers come up and talk about this issue and suggest few fragrance that suits our conditions, right? Uh, so basically it's not, basically, all right. Uh, never mind, I guess I'm just like a, I'm just troubled. What, what can I say? Bear with me, right? Basically. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, maybe few reviewers can come up and talk about these issues and give us from their specs what would be working beautiful for Bangladesh. What would be complimented from the, you know, point of view from girls, right? Uh, ladies would love something light and fresh. For example, I think, just an example, if you put this on, I'm just telling you, very simple fragrance. This is CK1 Summer, those who haven't tried. This one, when you smell this, the opening burst is so beautiful, so gorgeous for summer countries like us. Imagine those fruits, summer, you know, in UK, cooler countries, you import tropical fruits, mangoes, watermelon, something like that, you know. You pay a lot of buck for those tropical fruits. We grow it here. Our fruits are so sweet because of soil and the kind of heat. The soil is very, very perfect for growing fruits and stuff veggies and then the sun helps the, bring out the best of fruits so we have that sort of warm weather here so always look at the positive side so for a country like this this one has that uh, vibe of gin and tonic lemon little bit salt and little bit aquatic my friends who smell this in bangladesh they are in love with this fragrance i'm telling you this is not much this one you have to pay around what 20 dollars or 15 us dollars you can get this right sick on summer this sort of fragrances something light fruity i think that would be my suggestion for the guys don't blind buy something that's very heavy and that may not be your thing for example i will bring this this is a winter country fragrance this is signature scent for mark right he wears this lavender bit powdery but that's a powder is not ideal for our conditions because of the dust this weather is like 40 degrees celsius can you imagine it's like dubai hot like hell right here so and you're wearing this, they're not gonna get the best outcome of this from this. And you're not gonna compliment. People might hate you for wearing this. Most of the ladies will hate you for wearing this in Bangladesh if during summer. Winter time, feel free. If you're a fragrance lover as a collector, yes, great, no problem. I'm a collector. I like collecting, right? So try to find what is suitable for you. We're gonna try from time to time. From my part, as much as I can see, I'll try to suggest to you a few fragrances that suits our Kind of weather humidity super high humidity fragrances don't last so we'll try to tell you how to optimize what are the stuff that's suitable for us in this country may it be niche or designer anything right so guys please suggest something like fahad bhai said right so shafi bhai also said like uh, the thing is try to think of your fragrances that will suit our condition bangladesh india pakistan subcontinent nepal maldives right sri lanka so i hope Asian brothers, please share with us some of the fragrances of this genre, this sort of fragrances, you know, that can work. Azaros Chrome, great hit for Bangladesh. Easy buy, easy, nothing complicated. Don't have to worry about it. Hugo Boss Bottle, very, very popular. Bangladesh, you know, moment you think fragrances, people think Hugo Boss Bottle. Anywhere, every man's collection. Verse such as uh, Puram and Hugo Boss Bottle in everybody's collection, right? So as you can see, the pattern is there. So wood, leather, Something heavy notes, green, very strong green notes, doesn't work in Bangladesh. So for compliment factors, you know, as you we were discussing also, people don't come up to you and say, hey, you smell nice. But then people do notice, you see their eyes. If you have eye coordination and, you know, eye contact with people, you can see if they give you a smile, you know. 
they like your fragrance. So we'll grow this culture. We'll go to the streets. We'll take it down to the streets. Why not? I'll go to the streets. I will ask for a lady's opinion. And I can guarantee one thing for people. I can smell this on, I can spray this on their hand. They're going to pick this any day over something like, I don't know. I don't know what else I can show you. Like something that's strong, right? People usually not going to like maybe Galantini Humo in just too much strength in that. DHI, they may not like that, surprising but true. DHI may lose to this in Bangladesh condition, right? So you have to know how to make your fragrance last. Try to stay in the cooler weather, cooler places, in the car, house, office, anywhere you go, make sure it's air conditioned, all right? If possible, carry a decant. We'll start the decanting process. We'll learn how to do it. And we maybe sell decants also, no problem. Very ha handy. Middle of the day, your fragrance is gone. You can refresh yourself. It's gonna give you that boost. You're gonna, you're not gonna smell bad, right? And then the very important thing, last thing I just wanna mention before I go is, always remember, deodorants, guys, girls, whoever is watching this channel in this video, please, this is gonna make world of difference. Not this brand, Rexon is just my thing. I'm not promoting any brand. Any deodorant that lasts on you, something good quality, reputed company, put it on your underarms because that's where your jackfruits are born and then you know you can kill the people with just doing this <laughs> you imagine you farting with your <laughs> armpit and you know this heavy blast of your bodily aroma that you don't want people to really smell imagine you do this <laughs> without any deodorants on a hot day most likely your body odor is gonna kill people so try to smell good try to take shower as Fahad Bhai said also Try to stay clean, you know, have a nice haircut, try to shave and then, you know, use a facial, you know, facial wash, use some this, you know, makes a difference. You know, you're going to feel different. You're going to feel positive. You're going to feel good, healthy. You're going to feel pretty. And I said, yes, the world is pretty. You know, why should ladies be pretty only? Men can be pretty too, right? So, yeah, makes a lot of difference. You put a little bit effort, a little bit investment and time, like just maybe say, 40, 30 minutes to 40 minutes per day, you're gonna make a difference. People are gonna look at you differently, they're gonna respect you for being a nice gentleman, right? Clothing, everything. You don't have to spend a whole lot of money. That's it. So, ultimately, the last point is the main reason is in Bangladesh, we have to start talking about what suits our country, what are the best choices for our conditions. Yes, we know the other side of the story Canada, States, UK, Australia, New Zealand. Yes, we know. But our sales story, we're going to give you the world, how Bangladesh weather is like, what does it feel like in village, city and everything, as well as what are the things people love to wear. We're going to go to streets, we're going to sample, we're going to give people ideas, maybe we bring some fragrances to sell as well. So people can wear something that they love, the people around them love, they get compliments and they don't check, choke anyone out. It's not too pungent. But at the same time, good performers also, right? So this is, this is the thing. This is the mission right now for me. And I hope my friends, my members in the group, everybody have help us. We have some really good noses and very experienced people like Tutul Bhai we met. These guys are collecting for last 20 years or so. These guys have great collections, great nose, great knowledge. So I hope everybody help me out in this mission. We're going to make Bangladesh one of the lands gonna be popular for fragrances and gonna make this a very happening thing just like all over the world so that's my mission for the time being and i love this game and i thank everyone for helping me and for supporting me the way you are all the new subscribers please in the group please add your friends make sure nice people come don't put some unpleasant people in the group like who's gonna be like bragging hey you guys don't know shit Yes, we all don't know that much. We're learning from each other. No one is a guru. Maybe Mark is the guru. So, thank you for watching. And I'm still in a festive mood. I just hope the year ends well. No more bad news. We unite and we just enjoy our brotherhood like the way we are like doing right now. And Mr. Matt from UK, I hope you're still having a great time with your girlfriend in the States. Thank you for commenting in my uh, video and watching them, right? So, everyone... Happy holidays and no, not, not time yet to say Happy New Year. I will wish you all Happy New Year soon, right? Take care, guys. Have a wonderful day. See you. Good night.